Upper Three is live over the huge crowds. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. And I'm Rahel Solomon. CBS3 is on the air with special coverage of today's Super Bowl victory parade. We have Team 3 coverage of the Eagles victory parade. Trang Doe is live in the heart of South Philly at Broad and Patterson, where the parade kicks off. Joe Holden is on the parkway near the Free Library. But we begin further down the parkway with our Jane Carabeo. She's been out there for about five hours now, and we see there are plenty of people out there with her. Good morning, Jan. Jim and Rahel, good morning. Is it still morning? I don't even know. We've been out here so long with all of these fans who got a very early start. Some of them started overnight. Some of them started very early in the morning. And if it sounds loud out here, it might sound like a football game. That's because it pretty much is. Right now, we've got thousands of Eagles fans on hand. And guess what? The organizers of this parade are now replaying Super Bowl 52 on the Jumbotron. So what a way to get this crowd pumped up and ready to go. I mentioned a lot of people had been here overnight, some spending the night in tents, some hitting the road very early in the morning. I've got two people from Maryland, Dee Dee and Daylin, all the way from Upper Marlboro, Maryland. That's about two and a half hours away. Trust me, I live like 10 minutes away. My parents do. How was the trip up this morning? It was great because we were so excited to come and we could not wait to get here. We really couldn't. This is absolutely once in a lifetime and we wouldn't have missed it for nothing in the world. Right. So there are Eagles fans. In Washington territory, you guys, what does it feel like to be an Eagles fan and kind of enemy territory? It felt so great this week because I literally work within two miles of the Redskins Stadium. Right? So I had on Eagles gear at work every single day, and she wore it to school. So, and her math teacher is a huge Redskins fan, uh -huh. and she wore Eagles gear into the classroom. So it was it was wonderful. It was That's very brave of you. Yes, it is. I know they fly. You know their Redskins flags very high there. Yes, so they do. It's a a good year to be an Eagles fan. Yes, it is a good year. It's going to continue to be good to be an Eagles fan. Yeah, so. What was it like for you on Sunday to see this team pull it off? Sunday, honestly, I taped the game. Oh. I haven't even watched it because I was so nervous. Oh, you're one of those fans. I was really, really nervous. And when we won, she'll tell you, I was screaming like a maniac. I lost my voice. I mean, I was on the floor. It was it was unbelievable. I was like, I cannot believe we actually just won the Super Bowl. We just beat Tom Brady. So this, it's amazing. And I just think it's really, really great. And I think Nick Foles and Doug Peterson and Carson Wentz and Malcolm Jenkins and Eric, all of them are just absolutely great. And I'm so excited that we're here. We wouldn't have missed it. Right. This team is special. And now you get to relive it by watching it on the Jumbotron. Exactly. And, and with all these Eagles fans. That's so right. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you guys for coming out. How early did you leave, by the way? We left this morning. Actually, we drove up late last night, but we okay. left Delaware. We sat at our friend's house in Delaware. We left Delaware this morning at 4 o'clock. Yeah. Well, no, 3.30. 3.30. And you're on the front of the line here. Yes. And we got here very early. So we staked our spot out, and we're going to see them pass by and scream Eagles, Eagles, Eagles. Yeah. And you mentioned how passionate this fan base is. And everyone was talking about, oh my gosh, you guys are going to be, be careful. You know, the, the Eagles fans, they're really, you know, they're intense. And I'm like, I'm an Eagles fan. I'm intense. And it just feels like being home. And everybody's great. The crowd is wonderful. We're having a great time. Very calm, but excited. And I mean, it's great. It's, it's absolutely wonderful. You're going to be one of three million people right here watching history be made. What's once it going to be lifetime. like? Once in a lifetime. Yeah. Once in a lifetime. No, and work, I no have, school. No guys, work, no school. We're doing, um, she's doing math on the way back. She has nice. science on the way back. And then she has to read her book for Black History Month. So she'll be, we'll be doing some work going back. Some school work, but a lot of fun, too. But a lot of fun, What's too. What's going to be going through your head as you see this team? Because you have a front row seat here. What's yeah. it going to be like to see that team go by you right here this close? I'm just going to remember when... Tom Brady missed the pass, yes. and Nick Foles caught the pass and ran it in for a touchdown. Right? So that's going to be amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. amazing. Do you want to lead this crowd in an Eagles cheer? Do you guys want to do that? Yeah. Can we do that? Let's you ready, Dave? Let's do it. E A G O E S Having a great time out here. We Back to you in the studio. All right, Jen. Thank you with that family in Maryland. Love them. So you play.